It's the 150th Open Championship here at the home of golf, St Andrews. This is my video diary of my week here. Hi, I'm Paul and this is The Golf Show. Okay, so Tuesday evening, 270 miles to go. It's saying five hours, 10 minutes in the car. If only there was a golf show podcast to listen to. Anyway, I better hit the road. Next stop, St. Andrews. Five hour drive, but look at that view. Oh, wow. Beautiful weather on the way up, not a car in sight. And this is my accommodation for the next two nights. Okay, so Wednesday, final practice day of the open, 7 a.m., hence the bleary eyes. We're going to head down to the old course now. We're going to get the Flexi Bus. We had last night in the motorhome. We stayed at the St Andrews Holiday Estate. Relatively new facility. We've dropped really lucky here because it's not very busy. We're only four miles from town. We're going to get the Flexi Bus, which is a great service here. £2.35 for a single in St Andrews. So you can't argue with that. We're going to have a great day watching the golf. We've got the tea times. We know who we want to go and see. We know where we're going to go and watch. We're going to have an explorer as well. We're going to meet some of the players later, we've got that lined up, and we're invited to an exclusive party tonight. Now I can't say who's going to be there, but here's a clue. Okay, let's get to the open. Nice cool hospitality there, just by the 14th stall. You could fill your water bottle up for free. They're also giving out sunscreen, which is very sensible. Golf is good for your mood, not always. Super windy today. Ninth green, short par four. Last time I played here, I drove it. My caddy handed me my putter, then promptly told me that Jordan Spieth four putted it. Thanks, mate. Time is everything. Oh well, that guy's on his own. Yeah. Blimey, only 11 o'clock and she's flagging. <laughs> Loads of people having a great time here at the open. Down here, some more outlets. 
we've got the iron, the hook, the birdie, and the slice. Which one should I go in? Okay, so now delighted to be joined by John Parry. How's it going, John? Very good, thank you. Fantastic, yeah. thanks for coming on the show. 150th Open at the Home of Golf, you must be super excited. Yeah, for my like, first British Open as well, it's of definitely course, yeah. timed it well to wow, get the right absolutely. one. absolutely, yeah. you certainly did. So, what's your week been like? When did you arrive and what's your preparation been? I got up Sunday night, yep. and then it's sort of more just like pacing yourself. You know, you don't. Yep. it's easy just to overdo it and think, yep. you know, you've got to treat it like every other event, I guess, within reason. Yep. So. Played nine holes yep. here and there, you know, doing a bit, just trying to get a feel for the course really. It must be difficult to be so excited and want to get out of it, but obviously, as you say, it's a really long wait. Yeah, you just, yeah, exactly. And you just, you know, you don't use all your energy up before you actually get started. But Absolutely. luckily, we've I've played the course yep. you know, through amateur days. Sure, yeah. You, you, you sort of, it's always the same within reason. Fantastic. And how's the course playing this week? Uh, firm. Yeah. Definitely firm. And obviously, I don't think, well, the forecast is pretty nice, yep. but it's still. A little bit of wind here. This there's wind's no going to make it interesting. There's no protection, yeah. Yeah. Is there? So yeah. a little bit of wind does make yeah. a big difference. I've it? been here quite a few times. Just walking around today, I've spotted bunkers that I've, I've never seen before. They're just incredible. Yeah, yeah. I've noticed off tees where you, obviously the ball's running 50, 60 yards. Yeah. Where you're like, <laughs> where's that bunker coming? And there's some some holes. It's actually you're landing it on the front of the fairway and you're yeah. struggling to stop it before bunkers. Wow. It's almost like you can't stop yeah. oh, it, but it's, uh, yeah, it's definitely different. And any equipment changes this week? Um, no, I did get a new putter, but yeah. I'm not going to. Okay. Put it in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll give it a give it a couple of weeks before well, that goes. Brilliant, in. John. Best of luck and thanks so much for your Thank time. Thank you very much. Cheers, Cheers, mate. Best of luck. I think I'm set over there by the seventeenth green. Or should I perhaps take a little refreshment? It is kind of hot. It wouldn't be a trip to Andrews without a pint in the jigger. <laughs> Incredible to think you're walking across the 18th hole, Granny Clark's mind. And you've got Patrick Harrington and the guys practicing up there. What a place. This looks amazing. What a ride this is. Wow. You like a drink, sir? Okay, first time for me up at the Fairmont, but look at this. So Andrew's in the distance. What a beautiful course. We're now going to a party. <laughs> Sunset. Man, you've got to come to five. Okay, my second day of the Open. Great party last night by Lindbergh. Thanks for the invite, guys. Just heading into the golf now. Catch you later. Go on. Go on. What a narrow fairway that is. All red on the board so far. We've left the course, we're on North Street now, and next door to where Tom Morris was born, we're going to a party at Lupo's thanks to Scottsdale Golf, so let's go check it out. Hey, Here's Brad. How you doing, buddy? Not too bad, how, how good are you, day? mate?
Hang on. Here we go. Look at this. The winning number is number 76. 76. 76. Okay, that's it for day two. Let's go and find the hotel. Next time on Golf Show. champion golfer of the year. I hope you enjoyed the episode of The Golf Show. To watch another, click here. To subscribe, click here.